A sound wave, like any other wave, is introduced into a medium by a vibrating object. The vibrating object is the source of the disturbance that moves through the medium. The frequency of a wave refers to how often the particles of the medium vibrate when a wave passes through the medium. The frequency of a wave is measured as the number of complete back and forth vibrations of a particle of the medium per unit of time. If a particle of air undergoes 1,000 longitudinal vibrations in 2 seconds, then the frequency of the wave would be 500 vibrations per second. A commonly used unit for frequency is the hertz, abbreviated hertz. The human ear is capable of hearing many of the sounds produced in nature, but certainly not all. Some low frequencies like a heartbeat of 1 or 2 hertz cannot be heard, just like sonar sounds produced by dolphins which are too high. Any frequency that is below the human range is known as infrasound. It is so low that it may be detected by a creature with big ears, such as an elephant. In fact, recent research indicates that elephants also communicate with infrasound. Ultrasound, on the other hand, is above the range of the human ear. Bats, whales, and dolphins use ultrasound for navigation. Most bats can detect frequencies as high as 100,000 hertz. The Fourier series is named in honor of Joseph Fourier, 1768-1830 who discovered that sinusoidal waves can be used as simple building blocks to describe and approximate any periodic waveform including square waves. Fourier used it as an analytical tool in the study of waves and heat flow. It is frequently used in signal processing and the statistical analysis of time series. The simplest waveform is the sine wave since it has only one frequency associated with it. More complex waveforms can be constructed from sine waves of various frequencies by the law of superposition. Common waveforms used in sound synthesis are the triangle wave, square wave, sawtooth wave and triangle wave. These audio waveforms are often termed fixed waveforms because of their lack of variation, whereas acoustic waveforms are constantly varying. The sound from the waveform is various as illustrated in the following software demonstration. In this class, we use the program called Audacity to illustrate a waveform. The following sound clip is from the parabolic microphone. When you zoom into the signal, you can see the waveform look like sine wave.